Hi friends, Vicki is out here telling Lynn a story. <laughs> I have to go out there and see if I can get her to tell it on video. Please enjoy my stories or whatever else might be on my mind today. So, Vicki, I heard you telling Lynn a story. I've had a bad day. You had a bad day, but you told me that you went to that uh, bourbon barbecue place or something I like did. that. What kind of meat was that you told me earlier? Brisket. I ate brisket, yes. Yeah? We were waiting. We walked up to this place. It was an open-air market, and we ordered a brisket plate, and we had our dog in the car because he's wild. Yeah? We didn't want to take him out. So all of a sudden, we went to hear in the horn a honking. We looked up and the dog was like, giving it this on the horn. <laughs> <laughs> this is Ricky. 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 I'll go get a picture of Ricky in oh, a minute. Lord, yes. And he's strong and he seen we were going to be eating and he just pushed that much harder. <laughs> like, come get me, I want to eat too? Yes, he did. <laughs> so, um, Butch went out there and got him. And brings him up to where we were at and was going to tie him up to something. But he couldn't find nothing strong enough. So he thought, well, I'll just hang out with the dog until the food's ready. He's a strong dog. Yes, he is. He's a... Uh, what kind of dog is he? Well, I've had a brain fart. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you want me to edit that out? I don't care if you do. Or not. You can leave that in there if you want to. <laughs> Beep. Um, what kind of dog has he anyway? Little white dog, about this tall. He's only about this tall. When he jumps up on me, he's this tall. I know, and he's dirty as he can be. Anyway, I'll go get a picture of Ricky. So, uh, That's what she did. She had a store there in Glasgow. And she'd sell the stuff for so long, and if it didn't go, she'd mark it down another 50%. Uh-oh. <laughs> Ricky. Great big old woman. She's just too lazy to get up. That's what it was. Now, you look over there. Come here, Ricky. Hey, Ricky. Come here, Ricky. I hear you cause trouble, Ricky. <laughs> Are you the horn honking dog? Yeah, he's a horn honking. So, uh, what, what he's, beeping the, he's beeping he's the horn. He's beeping the horn, and everybody's a looking and a laughing, and we're embarrassed <laughs> to death. And he was not going to quit. He wanted something to eat. So Butch brings him up there on the leash and is hunting a place away from the table so that he can tie him up. I said, Butch, that looks like a horse hitch over there. I forgot about that part. Looks like a horse hitch over there. Why don't you look into that? And there was one man sitting there eating a real nice, meaty little person. And all of a sudden, our food was was a coming and Butch was going to take it back to the car and there was a dog bowl sitting there for dogs to drink out of so we knew that dogs must be able to come there. And it's an open air restaurant there. Right. Yeah. Not, not, if it had been enclosed or a sign that said no dogs, there would have been no dogs. So we got our food, was getting our food and Butch was taking him back to the car and that man stood up and he says, listen, Dogs are not allowed in here. I have read the bylaws of the state of, or of Portside, and you're not allowed to have that dog no ways near food. Is that the owner? No, that was just some guy eating there. Another customer. Another customer. <laughs> oh my lord. <laughs> and he, he said, you're gonna have to, that dog, Butch said, is this dog really bothering you? He said, yes, that dog's bothering me. He says, I don't wanna eat around a dog. And this is dirt everywhere. He's walking, wallowing around practically in the dirt to eat. So Butch takes him to the car. We was starting to eat, and the owner got coming to the window. He says, you get your food, and you get the hell out of here. To you? To the man that had jumped to, on us. Oh, to the other customer? Yes, the customer <laughs> that throwed the fit. The owner come out and told him. It stood there, him and his wife, and he said, how much did you pay for that dinner? He said, $17. He said, here's your $17. Get your meal and get the hell out of here. <laughs> well, the man says, no, I, I'm not, I intend to eat here. They're going to get that dog out of here. And 
said, I had thought about eating three times a week here, but now I ain't never going to eat here again. That man says, good, now come get your money and get your food and get out of here. So <laughs> he gets up and leaves, and we felt horrible. Butch was trying to explain to him that we were putting the dog away anyway, but you can't eat with a dog like that thing. Well, you can't eat with a dog honking the horn either. <laughs> no, but he, he wanted some attention. And there was people, there was two He's Mexican girls attention. taking pictures of him because he honk, 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 honk. <laughs> he just kept at it, and I don't know if he would ever quit. And then I heard some pots and pans of banging. That man did get up and leave. He said, you can just keep my money. He took his food and he left. And we felt so bad, I, I didn't know what to do. And so I heard pots and pans a banging and a clanking and a carrying on. I said, Butch, that man's still mad. The owner. The owner. <laughs> and all of a sudden, he, him and his wife come outside and he says, I, they apologize, I am so sorry. We know what the laws are, because we've come here every year. And said, there was nothing wrong with that dog. He wasn't bothering nobody. Said, but now last year we had one that come and pissed on the table and they drug him out and then he stood up with a pee all over his paws and stood on the table. <laughs> so I said, but your dog wasn't bothering nobody. And I thought to myself, yeah, if he'd got loose, he'd have tore this table down. <laughs> you know, he's just clumsy. He can't help it. He's, he's a French, well, he's what he is. He's a French bulldog. A French bulldog. Yes, and he's... He's special needs. <laughs> he goes on the bus once a week to class. <laughs> no, he doesn't. No, he really doesn't. He ought to. I wouldn't take him to a trainer. I've got help him. I don't think they could train him. We're walking him, trying to teach him to walk beside us. And he's paralyzed, but you're saying, they ain't no teaching that dog nothing like that. And when it comes to food, he gets excited. Me too. I mean, when you go to honk jumping up and down on a horn, and he'd done the same thing to me at the Dollar Tree. But I was in the Dollar Tree, and I was looking at signs, and I knew what I wanted, and I was going to get right out. It was a nice, cool day. The dog was not in danger. I had every window cracked like that, and I had the doors locked. Well, I heard over the loudspeaker. Somebody's got a white dog locked up in a car out here and says he's a honking the horn. <laughs> and it's hard to honk my horn. And I was, in a, I was in a bad mood, so I just honked, it's my dog, it'll be okay, I'll be done here in just a minute. And they all cracked up laughing, so they know me in the Dollar Tree now. If they see me coming, they look to see if the dog was there. You know the Dollar Tree. I took Lynn to the Dollar Tree. Did you? You know, people say that Lynn can't make a decision. I took her there. She made 53 decisions in 20 minutes. I, <laughs> I got up to the cash register and she said it was, a, I hate to tell this, I'm sorry, but it was about $100. Nobody's listening. <gasps> no way. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, Butch yeah. said, if you want to go to Dollar Tree, come to our house and go to the basement. <laughs> hey, if you like me, give me one of those thumbs up. Please subscribe and hit that little bell so you know when I post next. Please share me with your friends on social media. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed what was on my mind today.